Hello, it's the 15th of September 2016. I'm just doing a final update on the allotment. We've had a couple of wonderful, warm, sunny weeks and everything's continued growing, I guess, except the things that got a bit mildewy and were too overcrowded. I was curious this year to read about the so-called Three Sisters method of planting, which apparently originated in South America, the Incas or something. They would plant their sweet corn and their beans and their squashes together. And apparently the beans would grow up the sweet corn and the squashes would cover the ground around them. And I've seen various people demonstrating how you plant these in different ways. I don't know if they really know what they're talking about. Some people say you plant one corn plant and then around it you put some beans. But the thing about corn plants is you're meant to plant them pretty close together so that they can fertilise each other. This is my corn patch. So you can see, you can sort of walk between them, but there's not, there's not a lot of light here. I, th I think it would be pretty difficult to plant beans in the middle of this and expect them to grow up and um, survive. You could probably plant them around the edges and I did in fact make a bean pyramid next to this corn patch and some of the beans have gone up the corn so that's quite good but that's on the edge and there's the bean pyramid. And then I did also put the squashes, there's one courgette which is very mildewy but it's still valiantly producing courgette after courgette here. Three more coming along, oh four, five more coming along. These are the self-seeded squashes that I wasn't sure if they'd be true to type. That's how it should look. There's one that's orangey which is odd. So here's the general view of the sweet corn and the squashes. The squashes were planted after we dug up the garlic and onions. As a ground cover they're kind of okay. But the other squashes here that I planted around the new plum tree, there's the new plum tree, which has a gap between it and the established plum tree and I put a bean pyramid there and then I planted squashes down below. They haven't really covered the ground enough to stop the established nettles and brambles from coming up again. These are meant to be seed beans, they're decidedly weedy looking, there's not very many of them. Maybe it was I planted them too late. The apple tree is looking quite good, although we, after the first initial sort of clearing of the weeds and grass, we didn't come back to it, so it has got overwhelmed again. But it is producing some apples and I made a quite nice pie yesterday from them. Yeah, should clear all this stuff away. These are the Brussels sprouts that I planted I don't know, not long ago. They're growing. They're not huge, but there's tiny little buds in there. The thing is, it's mid-September now, so I don't know how much time they've got to grow into proper plants. I've just covered my leeks because when I came here today, I found that something, something has devastated these leeks. They've hacked off all the, all the leaves and just left them lying there on the ground below the mangled stumps. I've no idea what could have done this to the leeks but my suspicion is that it's geese. They've been flying overhead honking away and they're the things that like to snap off grass blades and leeks are a bit like grass but they've taken about half the crop so I cover them over with a net and I hope that the rest of them will be okay. These sweet corn plants, their baby corn variety, they were huge, they've grown bigger than me and we had so many baby corns and it was so hard to pick them before they got too big and they're finished now but we've got the mature corns to go so we've been eating corns every day for weeks it seems. They're actually very nice when they're fresh, you can just eat them fresh off the stalk. Very juicy and sweet. So there's the 
the dying foliage, the potatoes over here, which we haven't dug up yet. We dug a few here at the start of the rows. We haven't had time to come back for the rest. And something's been grubbing them out of the ground as well. Just, just the old potatoes been dug up and left like that. You can see there's been digging going on there, which is odd. We don't know if it might be badgers or foxes. I tidied up the squash that was growing on the compost. It produced a few squashes and I think it's finished. And we've got all this self-seeded chard, which is growing so wonderfully green. I might make Chris eat some of it tonight, even though he doesn't really like it. Harvested all those beans already. They're dry beans to store for the winter. And here's my other late crop, late planted brassicas. This is supposed to be broccoli. I don't think there's anything. It looks hopeful. Maybe it will start flowering, some of it, although something's got in and eaten the leaves, although I put the net over it particularly around the edges here. Maybe they can peck through the netting. And here, look. Strange. And here. It almost looks as though something's landed on the netting, eaten everything in sight, and then crawled through and made more holes further in. Interesting news. We found that the allotment next to ours is actually available, so I've taken it on and next year, between us, we will have two allotments to work on. 